And last Sunday, we said the laborer first must be born again. Amen. Uh, you, can, you cannot be a laborer if you are not born again in this business. In, this, in the house of God, you cannot be a laborer. And the laborer I'm talking about is not cheap. Oh. I'm telling you, I am a proud laborer. A proud, proud laborer. Praise the Lord. And I am seeking to have ranks in labor. Ranks in labor. I am a Libra. Libra. And I want you to know that you are also what? A Libra. Because labor is what brings results. That is why when a mother, a woman goes to the theater, a pregnant woman goes to the theater, they say she is going to do what? Labor. And it is labor that brings results. It is labor that brings you your joy. It is labor that brings you your fruits. Labor. You don't labor, you don't get anything. You don't labor, you don't get results. So God has called us to be laborers in his house. Laborers. And the labor is to work for the harvest so that they don't get perish. And the truth is that the, the harvest is perishing. April. April. The harvest is perishing. Joel chapter 3 and the verse 14 it says that multitudes are in the valley of what? Decision. Multitudes are confused. They don't know what to do. They don't know whether they are serving God or they are not serving God. They don't know whether it is Islam or it is not Islam. They don't know whether it is traditional worship. They are confused. Look, multitudes are confused. Men and women are confused. They don't know which direction they are going. And day by day before they realize life is gone. Day by day before they realize they have lost it. Praise God. Hallelujah. And it is you and I our duty to approach and tell them. That is when you have an answer for God. But let me do mine. Mine is to talk. Mine is to talk. And thank God I have the energy to do so. Yours is also to work. Thank God you have the energy. Praise the Lord. Last time I told you about a lady. Old lady, Abrewa. Abrewa. She was doing it, Abrewa. She was doing it, making sure that she gets people to church. Making sure that she will get them to church. I don't know about you. Last time one of the bishops that I listened to, he said in their church there's an 85 year old woman what she does in the morning is to pick like our devotional that bishop saints so pick the devotional and pick salient points from the devotional and send it to people send it to people so on she's just sitting at home on her phone and she's sending whatsapp to people she will pick a point from it from from the devotional pick a point from it she won't do anything about it pick a point from it and then be send it to people send it to them send it to them while she's sending to them when it is time to church for church she will send them what's up cost you anything it does not cost you anything praise the lord it doesn't cost you anything get numbers of people send them text message send them what's up invite them tell them to go to church tell them to go to church am i making a point so the laborer we said today i want to continue so we ended with saying that the laborer the, the, the laborer must know that God is the Lord of the harvest and we mentioned that Jesus the Holy Ghost God is the Lord of the harvest Amen and I told you that in this our current dispensation in this our current days the Holy Ghost is the Lord of the harvest Amen. Pray to the Holy Ghost. Talk to him. Encourage yourself in prayer. Lord, give me somebody. Give me somebody. You know, those of you who have watched, I don't know, uh, uh, the Women's Solution, maybe you can organize a program one evening. Then we'll watch the war room. We can watch war room. You know, there are movies when you watch because you learn from them, you can watch them over and over. The war room. I 
an old lady she will go and pray to God and tell God give me a young woman for me to work on give me a young woman for me to work on and God gave God brought a young a young woman to her and that young woman has a marital problem she was about leaving her marriage praise the Lord and God brought that young woman her way she came as a consultant amen relax for the young woman took time and discovered that she has a problem in marriage praise the Lord and the woman by God's grace was able to restore her home praise the Lord restore the home I wish we had time to watch that movie and you see after that one the woman went into prayer and said Lord give me another young woman give me another one and I'm sure God will give her so you see mama daddy you are sitting here tell God give me a young woman for me to work on give me a young woman it's not insult to Sankrenikas in Flefla in Mapa Wano Maban Omuna Majini Nan said, Oh, you're cute, or you're nice, or not in Adino, or you're cute, you're nice, and Nanu, or you're fresh in Jordanamua, Sad or Chet, and your friend, or one of them, friend me. But when your skin begins to tell you that succulency is going down, when your skin begins to tell you that life is talking to you now, when reality now begins to stare you in the face then you will understand but if you get somebody you get a house of God you get a church a pastor a man a woman an old man an old woman sit you down and tell you you are going speed to Boasi speed now they call no to Boasi Boji cry Boji relax don't rush praise the Lord and let me tell you there are so many people last time I was telling one of the young women I was telling them that look there are people there if you like go and ask them how many of you would like to be in my age now you see the hands that will go up women they like to be in your age you are 22 23 find out how many of them would like to be in that your age and they will all raise your hand because they are looking for that chance to correct a mistake they made She will quickly correct so many mistakes so when we talk to you listen when we talk to you listen so that you don't end up in the numbers of the people who said that's how somebody will say that a song that will be sung in hell and no more ever to help her had i known that would be the song a lot of people will sing I didn't know that, that it is going to end this way. I didn't know if I had known, I had not do this. If I had known, I would not go there. If I had known, I would not speak that way. If I had known, a minimum can be a on to hell. Don't go and sing that song. Don't join those on the way to go and sing that song. Praise the Lord. 